I guess before we go inside the trailer real quick, I wanted to show you guys what we used to tow this trailer with. It is a 2008 Toyota Sequoia Limited. It is four wheel drive, air ride suspension, and we did use a very nice weight distribution hitch. So if you're looking for a trailer in this weight and this length, um, if you have a truck already, you're probably better off, but we really needed the capacity to be able to pull the kids. Um, we didn't want to buy a big diesel SUV for daily driving use, stuff like that. And the Sequoia pulls it really, really nice. If you look online, uh, it says that the tow rating only goes up to 700, 400 pounds. That is not correct. Uh, depending on the model you have, we have the model that pulls 9,100. Um, and the hitch is weighted for that as well. So I don't want a bunch of comments about how the, weight, the hitch isn't weighted, rated for that. And it is. And the nice thing is that air ride suspension keeps everything level and with the uh, weight distribution hitch it pulled beautifully. There was a little bit of sway at high winds, um, but nothing that wasn't manageable. We pulled 65, 70 miles an hour. Um, again, we only used it one time and we pulled it for uh, two and a half hours to the first location and I actually drove it home from the dealership and unfortunately I did not have a trailer break. So I know I'll get scorned for that, but no trailer break and the truck stopped it beautifully. Again, we didn't have the tanks loaded and stuff like that, but it, it pulled really, really nice. So we were really, really happy with it. So if you're looking to pull something this size or smaller uh, or under that weight and you need to pull kids around, the Toyotas are bulletproof. Uh, they're not great on gas mileage, what truck that size is. So again, if you're looking for something like that, Toyota Sequoia. Um, they're awesome. I want to take a moment to kind of go over the trailer that we used to have, the one I'm sitting in right now. Um, everybody says, do your research, figure out what you want, walk through every trailer you can, uh, go to shows, go to dealers, check things out. It is a big investment. Uh, I say investment, I know everything depreciates in the RV world, but it's an investment for you and for what you want to use it for, whether you full time or whether you just use it recreationally. So we went through hundreds of trailers. We went and stuff way outside our price range, in the two, three hundred thousand dollar range, all the way down to stuff that was probably ten, twelve thousand uh, dollars. We looked at really long units. We looked at really short units. You know, twenty footers all the way up to forty footers, toy haulers. Um, the thing with the toy hauler at the time, or the fifth wheel is, I didn't want to put that much money into a truck at the time. Um, using it recreationally. It's just way more investment than we were comfortable with. So we went with the Toyota Sequoia that you guys saw and a 36 foot bunkhouse, uh, which I'm sitting in right now. I'll do a little tour here in just a second, but back to your research. We did it. You know, we found everything we wanted, uh, we looked at everything and weighed our pros and cons for each, and this unit was by far one of the nicest, most suitable units for what we wanted to use it for as far as recreational use on weekends, probably being in here no more than, I'd say, a week to two weeks at a time. Uh, again, we do have three kids in the summer so they'll be with us most of the time and uh, I know some full-time RVers they have a trailer this size or even smaller and they have teenage kids um, for example keep your daydream uh, shout out to you guys we love watching your channel hope we get to run into you sometime now, I know we're new to this but I do hope our paths cross you know keep your daydream if you check them out on YouTube, their trailer is smaller than ours with probably less space. They do have more cabinet space as far as the kitchen is concerned. Um, so for us, storage in here full timing was kind of an issue. Um, with Melissa's job, she will be stationary 13 weeks at a time. So we needed it to be more like home versus... Sleeping vessel, if you will, 
just to lay our heads down. Uh, another inspiring YouTube channel that we watched and really helped us get on this journey was Less Junk, More Journey. Uh, shout out to you guys as well. We love watching your channel. We watch consistently. Uh, we appreciate all the advice and kind of the motivation, and I know that's why you guys did the channel. So we hope we get to cross paths with you guys as well. Um, so Less Junk, More Journey, you know, they've had fifth wheels, they've had class A's, and now they're all the way down to their degree. Um, and again, for them, they're out doing things every single day. They're not stationary for probably more than a week at a time. And they're very fortunate where we will have to be stationary for, again, for 13 weeks at a time. So for us, I really wanted it to feel more like home and be able to really live in and possibly have our separate spaces for doing activities and having our own kind of um, private time and our own space to not feel claustrophobic. Um, our new unit is 430 square feet or so, but going from 2,100, 2,200 square feet, not including a finished basement, uh, that's, that's a big downside for the first step. So we did decide to upgrade to a 42, almost 43 foot fifth wheel. So when I go pick that up, I will do a review on that and go through that whole process with you guys and show you what our new trailer is. So if you have any questions about buying a fifth wheel or buying uh, a travel trailer, if you have two or three kids or varying ages, our kids are 12, 5, and 3. So those are pretty big age differences and having boys and girls in one trailer can also be an issue as well. So without further ado, let me do the interior tour and then I'll do the exterior. So this right here is the kitchen, living room, dining room. It does have a U-shaped dinette. The couch pulls out into a, uh, a bed. Uh, it does make it kind of hard to get through the kitchen sometimes, but it is fairly comfortable. Uh, the unit that we are in is a Dutchman Aerolite 326BHSL. And I will show the sticker on the outside. Again, Corian countertops, it does have the microwave. I put the backsplash in, nothing fancy, just some peel and stick backsplash uh, from Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that. Keeps the water off that uh, wallpaper in the back there. Dominic refrigerator, uh, does use propane or electric, uh, depending on what your needs are. Again, not a lot of cabinet space. One cabinet there. We've got, sorry again for the low light, two drawers, a cabinet, and one drawer underneath the, uh, the stove there. So not a ton of storage. Right next to it, a little bit of storage down here. We do have a flat screen TV that pulls out, can kind of move directionally, and some storage up top. One thing we kind of didn't like was the curtain divider but it is what it is if we were going to keep it we had planned on putting a door in either an accordion style or a regular door uh, but with that said on the back side in the master let the light adjust here you can mount a tv which we would not be able to do if we had a door which is fine we didn't plan on hanging out in the bedroom and watching tv too much anyway does have some decent storage in the bedroom two cabinets Hanging on either side, cabinets up top. They're fairly deep. Um, this does have a king bed and has storage underneath as well. We used a foam mattress topper for a little extra comfort in those horrible RV mattresses. I'll let the light adjust a minute. We'll get back into the bathroom when we get the lights on in the bunkhouse. So it is a fairly large unit. I mean, it feels very spacious when you're in here. This is the bathroom. Fairly large bathroom, actually, for this size of a, a trailer. Porcelain toilet. Tons of storage in here. And having 
four people or more in this trailer. It's kind of important for all the different stuff that you guys have. It does have the tub, which we really like. Our new unit does not have the tub. Having a small kid, we kind of liked having the tub. But if I have to be honest, our kids don't really like taking baths that much. They're shower people. So for us, it works out. We can give them a quick shower, rinse them off, and kind of be on our way. Fairly large amount of storage here. Again, I apologize for the low light. Working on getting a new camera. Now this is the bunkhouse. It may be hard to see. I hope not. Um, there is a jackknife sofa on one side and a flip up bunk on the other. Those are pool noodles. They kind of keep the kids from rolling off the bunk. They're not crazy sleepers, but it kind of helps mitigate them falling off. Trying to let the light adjust here. It does have storage cabinets on either side. And it's kind of cool. This came with a mini fridge. So we put a lot of the kids' snacks and lunches and stuff like that in the uh, actual refrigerator down here. <clears throat> does have a TV. It swivels out so the kids can watch it on the jackknife sofa, which also turns into a bed. And on this side over here, I know it might be a little hard to see. Again, I apologize for the light. Don't chastise me too much for it. It does have a bed that pulls out pretty much to, or a sofa that pulls out pretty much to a queen bed. And another flip up bunk on this side over here. So it's kind of nice. You can flip those bunks up. The kids can use the couch, sit down, watch TV, play games or whatever. Um, again, it's a fairly large unit. Now I know that camping and spending time together is more about family time and doing stuff. It's not about watching TV and playing games. But, you know, sometimes at night when the parents are out um, at the campfire or whatever and the kids are getting tired and they're getting cranky and that kind of thing and they just need to lay down, it's really nice for them to have a separate room. And this unit does that for us. And I know there's other units that do it too, but for us, I felt like this did it the best. Uh, in that bunk room, you saw how big it was. It does have opposing slides. So the kids have a lot more space to kind of move around, do activities on the ground and stuff like that. So that's kind of why we bought this unit. Now, <laughs> having said that, I will admit that we only use this unit one time. Once. That's it. I know that sounds kind of crazy uh, to spend that kind of money on a unit and use it once. Um, we loved it, and honestly, it, it kind of propelled us into wanting to live in it full time. That's how nice it was to spend that kind of time with the family. Um, but again, we knew kind of right away that when we wanted to go full time, there wasn't enough storage. And that was unfortunate because we really liked the unit, and we could have probably pulled it with... We could have pulled it with a Sequoia, but I probably still would have gotten a truck just so it wasn't as hard on the vehicle uh, for as much as we want to travel. So using it one time, you're probably thinking, wow, man, you lost so much money. It's crazy. But we really didn't. Uh, we fortunately did our research. We got a really, really good deal um, from a place called Zoomers RV uh, in Indiana, kind of towards Indianapolis, kind of halfway there. The guy was really, really cool, really, really nice, helpful. Gave me a pretty good military discount. We did buy it at the end of the year as well. So I know they didn't want it sitting on their lot. And uh, just the fact that he was willing to give me a military discount. Threw some extra odds and ends in for us for free. And gave us a very, very nice weight distribution hitch for free. And on their showroom floor, the hitch is probably 600 bucks, And he threw it in for free. And gave us a lot of money off on the unit as well so i really have to say thank you to zoomers rv to getting us into our first unit at a reasonable price uh and letting us realize what we were missing all this time fortunately i got to sell the unit to a friend of mine a really good friend of mine who has four kids and they're a camping family growing up so he is really really excited to get the unit he's getting a really good deal on it i'm kind of breaking even but i've had looked these up and they go for ten to fifteen thousand more 
than what I let him have it for. So I know that when I come back and I come visit and we can go camping together, I can kind of see how they've gotten to use it and enjoy it as a family as well. So that was pretty cool for us. But, uh, again, I think the fifth wheel is going to be a better fit for our family having to live in it full time, 13 weeks at a time. So we will take a month or so off in between. I'm sure you'll hear me say that quite often, but, uh, sometimes I forget what I'm, what I've talked about in the past. So, um, I will go ahead and show you guys the outside. I will apologize ahead of time. It's a little windy here right now. So if you do hear some wind noise, I apologize. Again, I am working on getting a new camera. I promise you. So here we go. There it is, the Zoomers 326 BHSL. It is a Dutchman Aerolite. In the rear here is one of the opposing slides for the bunk room. Don't mind the old VW there. It does have four point stabilization. Again, it's a fairly large unit, quite a few windows. I know for as many windows as it has, it's kind of dark in that bunk room. There you can see the dual slides on the driver's side. This rear one is for that rear bunk room again nice because all these hookups are centrally located you don't have stuff on our opposite sides everything's right there and compact there's that slide again fairly large moving towards the front does have quite a bit of storage I know it's hard to get a dimension on this but that is a six foot ladder in there and I still have about another foot on the other side before I get to the other side. There's the front of it. Nice gel coat fiberglass cap. In that V there's uh, LED lights that light up the entire sky at night. Two 30 pound propane tanks. I did put regulators on there. And the nice thing if you don't have one on your trailer to have is is a quick disconnect that has been key to saving our batteries so the stairs i know there's only three of them but they actually go fairly close to the ground and having a three-year-old that really helps so the only thing i don't really like is the fact that your exhaust here uh it can get a little warm for your refrigerator uh, and this is the side that you hang out on. It does have close to a 20 foot awning with LED strip lights um, and your water fills are on this side. I really wish they were on the other, other side where everything else was at. Um, this also has, I'm sure there's other names for it, it says Santa Flush, but what that does is it allows you to kind of spray the inside of your black paint, which would be very, very helpful. I know those sensors go bad, and that kind of helps keep those sensors clean. Um, but yeah, that's the 326 BHSL. Uh, it's by Dutchman. It's an Aerolite. And the weight on it's right around 7,300 pounds dry weight. Uh, most people don't put more than about 1,000 to 1,500 pounds in their trailer. If they do, they're probably overpacked or they're living in it full time with a lot of extra gear. So thanks for checking out Clinging to the Good Life, uh, checking out our old trailer that we used a whopping one time, and uh, we look forward to showing you the new trailer.